In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss R squared. R squared tells us how well a regression line predicts or estimates actual values. To calculate R squared, we take the actual values and we determine the mean of those values and we look at the distance from the actual value to the mean. So we have the distance from the actual value to the mean. And then we draw in the regression line. And we come up with estimated values. And these are all estimated values. And we take the distance, the estimated value to the mean, the distance. And we compare this with the distance of the actual to the mean. We compare these two things, these two values. Actually, there's a lot of values we're going to compare. And that's how we come up with R squared in a nutshell. Now I'm going to go through the calculations. I did this in the previous videos, but I'll do the calculation again. The mean of the Y value is 4. And I'll draw that line in right there. And now I take Y minus its mean. So I take 2 minus 4, in this case 2, that 2, minus the mean of 4. Again, that's the mean, which is 4. And I'm going to do this for every value, and this equals negative 2. Now the next point is right on the mean, so it's 4 minus 4, which is 0. Then I have... 5 minus 4, which is 1. Then I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. And 5 minus 4, which is 1. Now if I add up all these values, kind of crazy enough, if I add these up, it equals 0. It's a good way to check your numbers. It should always equal 0. So as a technique, I will square these numbers y minus y bar, or the mean, squared. So negative 2 squared is 4, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, and 0 squared is 0, and 1 squared is 1. I add these up, it equals to 6. Now I'm going to draw back in the regression line that we derived in a previous video, but you can follow along with this. And the formula is y is equal to 2.2 plus 0.6 times x. So the estimated values, I just plug in the x and derive the estimated value. So I take 1, 1 times 0.6. So I have 2.2 plus 0.6, which is equal to 2.8. And that's that value right there, 1, 2.8. Now I take 2, which is my next x value and I put it into the equation. So I have 0.6 times 2, which is 1.2 plus 2.2, which is 3.4, right there. So that point is 2, 3.4. X is 2, the estimated value is 3.4. And again, I derived that equation in a previous video. And the next value should be 4, hopefully. 4.6 and then 5.2. This is a single video in a playlist. I'd encourage you to watch the other videos in the playlist. Now I'll draw the y back in and I'm going to take the distance from the estimated to the mean. The first value is 2.8 minus 4 which is negative 1.2. The next value is 3.4 minus 4 which is negative 0.6. Then I have 4 minus 4, which is 0. Then I have 4.6 minus 4, which is 0.6. And finally, I have 5.2 minus 4, which is 1.2. Now, if I add up all these values, it also adds to 0. Always will. That's a way to check your math. So I take these values and square them. So I have negative 1.2 squared is 1.44. 
negative 0.6 is squared is 0.36. 0 squared is 0. 0.6 squared is 0.36. And 1.2 squared is 1.44. Now I'm going to add up all the values in this column. And this all adds up to 3.6. So r squared becomes, actually I'm going to put it down to the bottom here instead. r squared is equal to 3.6 divided by 6, which is equal to 0.6. The equation you'll see in your textbooks is something like this. It's going to be the estimated value minus the mean of y, all that squared and added together, divided by the actual value minus the mean of y squared. Again, I'm going to sum all those values. It's an ugly looking equation. So now I have r squared is equal to 0.6 r squared equals to 0.6 is a pretty good equation, pretty good fit. If the actuals and the estimated were closer together, r squared maybe would approach 0.9. And in fact, if they're exactly the same, r squared is equal to 1. That means it's a perfect fit. If there's a large distance between the actual and estimated, r squared gets small like 0 0.02, or it approaches 0 if there's no relationship at all. When actual and estimated are close together, r squared approaches 1. Another way to measure goodness of fit is standard error of the estimate. And in that case, we look at the estimated and actual, or the distance between the two of them. I discuss standard error of the estimate in the next video. Remember, r squared is the process of taking the actual values and the distance to the mean distance of actual values, and then comparing this to the estimated values determined by the regression line, and comparing that to the distance of estimated to the mean, and comparing those two. And that's the R squared. Up next, standard error of the estimate.